Hello, here we are with the Sprouty again. It's uh, a little after eight o'clock in the morning and I wanted to make this video a little earlier but I had to go out this morning and I just got back. So we're, we're anyway, we're on the coil. Oh gosh, this coil covers, I think it's about 10,100 to 13,600 kilohertz. And uh, right now we're on the 25 meter band. And um, um, I don't have frequency readout here, although the dial, I do have a dial calibration graph just off camera, so I can tell you roughly where we are. I can see the dial sits at about 150, which means we're at about 11,500 right now. Let's, there we go, get a little bit of generation just sort of going, and uh, we've got the filter to the 6 kilohertz setting, so let's, That's a dial setting of 156, 157.5, which I think is approximately 11.560 or 11.570. I'll have to check that out later. One sixty two and a half. I think that's about eleven six ten or eleven six twenty kilohertz. I'm just doing this uh, quickly so I don't have time to really check the dial calibration graph too closely. One sixty nine point five. That actually most likely is eleven six seventy kilohertz. So lots of signals here. Not really that many loud signals, but uh, lots of lots of stuff to listen to. Oh. No, that's quite loud. What was that about 199 on the dial? So that is actually most likely, I think that's 11,930 kilohertz, I think. Not completely sure, but that's about 12, 12,000 or 12,010 kilohertz, 210 on the dial. I, when I tell you it's 210 on the dial, I'm not doing this, I'm doing this mainly for my <laughs> education because that means I can go through the video afterwards and check the dial calibration graph and the online listings and maybe notate the video with what frequency we're listening to. Two hundred and sixteen. Oh, that is almost certainly twelve oh six or twelve oh. I think that's about twelve oh seven five kilohertz. Mike, I give this man a really hard way to go. I'm going to brag on him a little, but only a little, because he didn't vote right last week. Today or yesterday, he voted not to do this. Not to give the go ahead. And that would be Roy Blunt from Missouri. Guzman from Arkansas. Burr from North Carolina. Coates from Indiana. Cotton from Arizona. From I think that's about 12,140 or 12,150 or thereabouts. It's 226 and a half on, on, on my Nevada. national HRO dial. Oklahoma. Lankford from Oklahoma. Lee from Utah. Oh, and then we're off the top of the band. Not going to be much up here. Just fun noises. 
fun noises. So let's spin down to the bottom of the band again because we didn't check that out. I think, let's see. If I remember correctly, this coil, let me see where we are. I'm just checking the dial calibration graph on the computer. You can't see this, but I've got to open it up in a different part of the band. And I think, uh, I think, oh, this coil starts at about 10, 100. So, okay, nothing going on on the 30 meter amateur band. Okay, well, th that's it. Anyway, that was the Sprouty for the most part on the 25 meter band. And um, yeah sounding pretty good this morning. It's actually now at about 8.16 uh, in the morning. And I'm just saying this for my purposes, so when I go through the video later, I can check out the shortwave listings and notate the video with just a few of the stations that, are, that appeared in the video. But there's the Sprouty Mark II doing a, a sterling job.